We caught four different species of sea creatures on the Jersey Shore. A clam, a mussel, a barnacle, and a crab. All these are surf creatures who live in the tidal zone, where the ocean water rises and falls, so they can breathe both underwater and on the shore. But how exactly do they breathe? Crabs have gills they use to extract oxygen from the water. The gills are located at the base of their legs. What you see moving right next to this crab's eyes are their two pairs of antennas. Crabs use antennas to smell, sense chemicals in the water, and also to feel the current and movement of the water. Mussels also breathe by running water through their gills. Unlike all other mollusks, mussels get their food only by filtering water. The gills are deep inside of the mussel. What you see here, showing from its shell, are the flaps of its mantle. That's where the mussel inhales water. It exhales it through the special siphon. This is an Atlantic surf clam. This portion of the mollusk's body coming from the shell is the clam siphon, or rather two siphons, for the water coming in and the water coming out of the mollusk. Inside behind the siphon are the clam's gills with which it breathes. Any food that comes in with the water, like plantain or algae, gets into a clam's mouth. For clams to eat and breathe, the water must be in motion, and they create that motion with the siphon. Here is a large mussel shell with two creatures attached to it, a barnacle and a slipper shell or oyster pest. Barnacles are crustaceans, like shrimp and crabs. Barnacles have no gills. Instead, they absorb oxygen through their legs these hairy things that come out of the barnacle shell. The shell is made up of six plates. If a predator comes close, the barnacle's legs pull in and the shell shuts closed. It also closes when the tide is low and barnacles end up above the waterline. <laughs>